Hello everyone and welcome to our channel. In this video, we will guide you through a step-by-step -step process on how we can connect HubSpot to WordPress. Be sure to watch the entire video to gain a comprehensive understanding. Without further delay, let's get started. First of all, go to your web browser. Here, search for WordPress. Tap on the link from wordpress.com. Here, as you can see, this is the world's most popular website builder. At the top, tabs include products, resources, features, plans, and pricing. Now tap to open plans and pricing. Here you can see multiple price plans. First one is free with no charges. Then there is personal, then premium. After this, there is a price plan called business. Last two are commerce and enterprise. Enterprise starts at $25,000 per year. Then tap on pay monthly. Here, prices vary from pay annually. So you can have a look at these price plans. As before, enterprise starts with $25,000, which is to be paid on an annual basis. Go back to the home page. Click on Get Started. Here you need to provide an email address, username, and password. I'm selecting Continue with Google. As you can see, Google account is getting connected with WordPress.com. Tap on Connect. Then you need to choose a domain. Here, you need to enter a domain for your website. You can see at the top of search results, the first domain is recommended. There are other domains as well. You can see free domain next to recommended. So tap on the select button present right in front of it. Here, you need to tap on continue with free. Now set what are your goals. After this, save your selection. Next, choose a store name. Then enter a tagline for your store. Tap on Continue. Here you have to pick a design for your website. I'm choosing to skip this for now. Here you have landed on the home page again. Open a new tab. Search for HubSpot.com. This way, you are directed to its main page. So the first tab over here is Software. Its menu includes Marketing Hub, Sales Hub, Service Hub, CMS Hub, and Operations Hub. Then go to App Marketplace. Open its link in a new tab. In the sidebar here, you can see a number of categories. Close this tab. Next, go to Pricing. First plan is Professional, which starts at $800 a month. Then you have Enterprise, which starts at $3,600 per month. From the top left, go to its home page. Here, click on the Get Started for Free button. So you can create your free account. This is free and no credit card is needed. You have the option to continue with Google, sign up with WordPress or Microsoft. Now tap on sign up with WordPress. Alternatively, you can enter your email address. As you can see, sign up with WordPress is not available for the time being. So you can still sign up with Microsoft, Google, or your email address. Next, tap on Continue with Google. Here, provide industry as per your website. Then select Next. 
Now, mention your job role here. After this, write what's the company name. So, tap on Next again. This time, you need to select the number of employees that work in your company. Now, provide company's website. For this, go to the WordPress site. Here, select your website. Then open its link in the new tab. So copy the address from the URL section. Paste it at hubspot.com. Then click Next. Here, select where you want your data to be hosted. Select one and tap on Create Account. Now give the answer to which of these sounds most like you. Then select what would you like to do with HubSpot first. From the bottom, tap on Skip without picking a goal. Select part of CRM which you want to explore first. Sections here are Deals Closed versus Goal, Deal Forecast, Deal Stage Funnel, and Activity this month. First tab at the top is Contacts. Here you have contacts, campaigns, calls, etc. Select contacts from the menu. Here, tap on leave the demo. A new page opens. Tabs here are contact owner, create date, last activity date, lead status, and advanced filters. Then go to the My Contacts section. After this, go to the last tab, Unassigned Contacts. From the top, select Create Contacts. Go to the Marketing tab. Its drop-down contains ads, email, landing pages, website, social, and SEO. Now, go to Sales. Here, you have Deals, Forecasts, Tasks, etc. Then go to the Service tab. So you can see tickets. Next, go to Automations. It contains workflows and sequences. Last tab is Reports. It has analytics tools, a dashboard, and reports. Last one here is Data Management. It contains data sets, integrations, data models, and data quality. Go to Settings. Tabs include Setup, Association, Lifecycle Stage, Record Customization. Skip the tour over here. Next, in the sidebar, there are a number of options available. Go to Integrations. You can see connected apps, private apps, API keys, email service providers, etc. Go to Connected Apps. Select Explore on my own. Next step is to click on Visit App Marketplace. Tap on HubSpot for WordPress. Then tap on Install App. Go to the Installations tab. This is where you can see how to install this app. From the home page, select Plugins. Now in the search bar, type HubSpot. We need to install the first plugin here. For this, the account must be upgraded. Tap on Upgrade to Business in order to upgrade. Tap to open the first plugin. Then select Upgrade and Activate. Again, tap on Upgrade and Activate plugin. Scroll down. Here, you can see how Spot can be used to connect one-to-one -one with visitors, capture leads with ease, nurture your leads, and a lot more. 
Further, you have email newsletter and marketing automation software. Also, there you will find forms and pop-ups. In the end, there are live chats and chatbots. So, you can see what HubSpot Live Chat offers. This includes Meeting Bot, Tickets Bot, etc. Then, there is seamless integration. So, this is how we can connect HubSpot to WordPress. Thanks for watching, I hope it was useful. Make sure to drop a like and subscribe to get notified for new videos.